Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for our devotional. Today we're in the book of Acts, chapter 9. I'm going to be reading verses 10 through 15. It says, Now, there was a disciple at Damascus named Ananias. And the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias! <laughs> and he said, Here I am, Lord. And the Lord said to him, Rise and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. For behold, he is praying, and he has seen a vision of a man named Ananias coming in and laying his hands on him so that he might receive his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man how much evil he has done to your saints at Jerusalem, and here he has authority from the chief priest to bind all who call on your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles and the kings and the children of Israel. You know, I believe God loves to interrupt men. He will do this both to believers and unbelievers as we see here because his divine plan will always interrupt our plans. And while we get a little irritated about this, we usually will see what God wants us to see. I don't know if you see the pun there, but I thought it was funny. You know, what I enjoyed most about this text, though, is that Ananias, while finally obedient, is initially reluctant. He expresses his concerns, right, as he talks with God, which is a risky venture, by the way. But I think at times we all respond this way to interruptions by God. We are initially reluctant when we are, for example, consumed by a task and interrupted by a child in our home. Or we're initially reluctant when a family member or an issue hijacks the better part of our day. Or we are initially reluctant when a friend requires urgent support and direction and we just don't feel like we have the time. But sometimes these are not interruptions at all. They are divine redirections. God is redirecting a disciple consumed with themselves to get them to see a divine moment and a bigger picture. For example, Maybe he wants us to see a child who needs love, or a family member who needs help, or a friend who needs some support. And in hindsight, we will often proclaim, I was initially reluctant, but I realized I was just being redirected by God. What's interesting in this text is that following this moment, we hear nothing more about Ananias. I mean, Ananias disappears from history, but his divine redirection led to the most important conversion in all history. Yes, in all history, literally. Saul becomes a monster of the faith, takes the name Paul, and single-handedly wrote most of the New Testament and spread the message of Jesus Christ across the entire Roman Empire. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Just because of one little interruption. So here's your actionable. When you are interrupted today, I want you to see this interruption with different sight, a divine sight, as a divine redirection. First, I want you to pause. Second, I want you to set your task aside. Third, I want you to embrace the irritation of this moment. Fourth, I want you to stop thinking about yourself and your plans that you got to get done. Fifth, I want you to see God's plan in that redirection. And sixth, just be obedient to his voice. You never know. The exchange that happens next and your righteous response to this interruption could have divine ripples that affect mankind for generations. I mean, God could use you. Well, fellas, thanks for joining me for this devotional today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, uh, leave a comment below, share it with someone you know, hit that subscribe button, and for sure, I want to see you right back here again tomorrow.